Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I will show you how to set up backgrounds with Oxygen. So most commonly, you're going to want to put backgrounds on a page section. You can put backgrounds anywhere, but it's commonly done on a page section. So I have a section here. Go to the Advanced tab, Background, and here are all of your background settings. At the most basic level, you have uh, background color. You can set the color. Uh, you can also set a background image. So where to get background images? Well, no one wants to pay for stock photos, so I really recommend Unsplash.com. They have a massive library of high-res, totally free photos. You don't have to pay. You don't have to give credit, anything like that. So let's pick a photo and download it. And these are pretty high resolution. So before you actually use them, you might want to compress them. So I like to use CompressJPEG.com for that. Let's upload my downloaded background. And this should shrink it by a good bit, 50%. Okay, that's better because, you know, we want fast page load times. So let's download that. And then we will go back to Oxygen and upload that background image. Let's go upload files, select files. And there is our image. Hit select image, and this is now the background. Now let's go ahead and set this text color to white. And one of the most common mistakes, let's make this a little bigger too, just because it's pretty. One of the most common mistakes I see in web design is text that is unreadable over a background because the contrast between the text and the background is not enough. So Oxygen gives you a really easy way to fix that. Go back to the background tab and set an image overlay color. So, so you may want to make the image darker, set the overlay color to black, and then just adjust the slider. And now the text is a lot more readable. Another good technique, if you don't really want to darken the image, is just pick the color that the image is really mostly that color, and then make that semi-transparent. And just making the image like more green. And here is before, here is after. So that's really important, really important to get your text readable because if your text is not readable, then you are not a web designer. Okay, let's go ahead and set up a pattern background. So I'll go ahead and add another section. I'll just put a heading in this so we can kind of see what's going on. Pattern backgrounds. So this is gonna be an image pattern. I really like uh, subtlepatterns.com. They have a ton of free background patterns you can use. So let's go ahead and download this. And let's go back to Oxygen, Advanced, Background, Background Image, and let's upload the background pattern. Select Image, and here it is. Now, by default, the background size for sections is set to cover, and that stretches the background out to cover the entire section. But in this case, we don't want to stretch the background. It's a pattern. We want it to repeat. So we're going to set the background size to auto and background repeat to repeat. That'll repeat across a section. We could also use a manual background size to change how big the pattern is. Maybe we want it to be 100 by 100. Maybe we want it 200 by 200. Just depends on the effect we're going for. Maybe we want to scale it up, make it really big, 500 by 500, uh, etc. So that's how the background size parameter works. That's how background repeat works. Uh, let's talk about background attachment. So this is how you would achieve a parallax effect. Normally, the background attachment is scroll, which means when the page scrolls, the background scrolls. But if you set background attachment to um, fixed, then when the page scrolls, the background stays fixed. That's a nice little effect. Uh, and then we also have background position. If you want to move the background over, for example, maybe we want this pattern background to be offset a little bit. We can move it over 10 pixels left, 20 pixels left, 20 pixels from the top, etc. And it's commonly used if you're using like a clip art style background or you just want to precisely position a pattern or something of that nature. Now, I won't talk about background clip in this video. I might make another video to do it at another time. 
Uh, next up, we have video backgrounds. So with oxygen, you can use video backgrounds. Let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, image overlay in the background image now. And the parallax, let's make this text black. And let's go ahead and add in a video background to this section. So all you need to do is specify the URL to your video background, but where to get video backgrounds. So cover.co, C-O-V-E-R-R.co has tons of free video backgrounds here. You just go through a list, you can search, whatever, and download any video background. So let's go with something nature. Let's go with bird trails. Download. And that is downloaded now. And now that that's downloaded, let's go back to Oxygen, Browse, Upload Files. Let's go back to Downloads, choose my video background. Choose Select Image, not bad, only five megabytes. And here is the video background. We can tint video backgrounds as well. So let's make this text white. And then let's just darken this background up a little bit. Video overlay. Let's go with the blue. Let's actually go with black. Yeah, there we go. So that is how to tint a video background. And then on mobile, video backgrounds can be kind of annoying. So you can hide the video below, let's say, 768, not really less than 768, no video background. In which case, you should probably set a background color so the section still looks good. Okay, there we go. That is how to do backgrounds with Oxygen. If you have any questions, please post in the comments. And again, this is Lewis from SoFly. Thank you for watching.